Hey guys, it's me Pinky. Um, since we have the registration phase of All Out War now, I guess I'll make another video to All Out War. Why not? And I noticed that um, a few things changed, which I will mainly about the commanders, which I want to like target in the end. I want to speak about um, two other things first. One is in um, Siege of Interfell, uh, marching speed did count. So. Um, for example, if you use Gather Gear, the Kingsguard Helmet, the Glorious Sword, stuff like this, and you will be faster, you also march faster, which uh, made it possible to, for example, take the pack and run away from enemies that had no marching speed. I will try this at the start of uh, All Out War, just because if this counts, then I think it's good, because you will get the marching speed for all three armies, the combat sets from your gear you will only get for your march uh, for your lord march most likely the main thing is we have resilience so you will need time to march to the enemy which will reduce your uh, your resilience if you march faster to them you arrive with more resilience so being faster is a big uh, upside in my mind so just that you know I would recommend you to try it out. I will, I don't know, post a moment about it once I tested it and will say if it worked or not. Um, then we have, I have the feeling there's a little bit of confusion about the rallies in All Out War. So since I can't enter All Out War right now, I just want to show it with better experience from Teacher of Interfell. I know this is not ideal, but it should show the like concept. Okay, sadly I tried a bit, I can't uh, really move around freely. It's a bit sad, but um, let's just say I open up a rally with my army inside hot springs, then the enemy could join if it would not be an enemy. And once you like start with your rally, everyone is inside um, my single army, and then you can uh, kind of cancel the rally, which will unleash all the troops inside your rally, and they will just all pop up on the map again. And the main thing what the rally does is it gives control over to the player that done the rally. So if I open the rally and you join me, I have control over your troops. And in case you wonder how to like, um, because you can open the rally, 30 people, uh, 29 people can join, you open the next rally with your next march, so you would have up to 90 marches. Then of course there's a question how to control 90 armies. Um, I think the best way is to just shift click and then you can do this um, green lines which will just take control over everything inside the circle. It's not the circle but I don't know the exact name so I will call it the circle. And like this you see I can't move around here but like this you can make a very big green circle not circle and then you can con take control over 90 armies or small parts of your rallies. But it's not people will join you and you will have the stats of the max account and the max account will have 30 times his army size or something. It's just, let's say I want to go offline, so I ask someone, hey, please do a rally. He does a rally, my army goes in, uh, under his control and then I can go offline and the one doing the rally can use my armies, which is a nice concept, I think. And by the way, every time you come back, anytime, you can just... Pick your army, give it an order, and once you order your army around once, um, you just fall out of the rally. By the way, sorry for not showing this better, but wanted to talk about this before All Out War started and not on the All Out War map. Last change is, um, in my mind, something really important. Um, before in Siege of Interfell, and I expect the commanders to be the same in Siege of Interfell as in All Out War, as they were in Pioneer. It was always you unlock a commander on Grey. I don't have a Grey commander, but let's take Marjorie for example. Um, and then you get a reduced stats, but her skill, in this, uh, in this case Rose Beauty, you get the full effect. So it doesn't matter if you have a Grey or Gold, you just get the full effect from the skill, which is not like this anymore, because um, if you look at blue for example, she just heal 
uh, has a healing uh, a coefficient from 200, not from 100. This is kind of important to notice and kind of important to be aware of because a lot of people were, for example, using Grey Thursday because Thursday was fucking strong and I guess it still is. Uh, if you have a gold, now with Grey she will be a lot weaker than before. So don't just copy Commander um, formations from people where you have the commanders in worth colors. It's still possible that, for example, if you look at um, my blue Daenerys, she has a damage coefficient from 400 and hits uh, five targets uh, and she recovers rage for them. So um, if you have Daenerys in your match, you should be able to use your skills out more often. And then you, like, compare it to Arya, where Arya has the same rage cost, the same cooldown, so it will be um, the same, like, appears often as Danny does. She does, uh, she has a 50 higher damage coefficient, but she doesn't have any extra effect. So the question is, do you want the extra stats Arya gives you, which are a total attack and a bit of infant defense, or can you live with a b bit less stats? In my mind, I would say yes. And can you live with the better effect? And I would say Blue Daenerys has a better effect than, for example, uh, golden Arya. Even though Arya gives a bit of army size because awakened and whatnot, this is the like concept army you should be aware of. So also uh, like I would call it key commanders like Kevin changed. He is, um, doesn't make your march tanky anymore. He takes down the enemy march. Uh, enemy march damage. Which is still great. Like if you have him and you are fighting a max account and you are not the only one with the Kevin and people split up properly then you can take um, down the damage of them by a lot but um, you have to be aware that the skills are just different um, between last siege of Interfell and this all out war. So I will try to like come up with um, good commander combos for uh, like I would call it medium spenders, where you have the, mm, I would call them 50 BD commanders only, because it will be hard for people to have like a blue Daenerys or a golden Cersei or whatever, so it's most likely difficult to use them now. can still be that um, Cersei is still um, so strong that she even is uh, in grey, very powerful with the reduced effect, but you have to keep in mind that her effect will be reduced. I hope this um, clears maybe one or two questions about All Out War, um, sets you up a bit better to not be surprised, and uh, well, see you on the battlefield. Mm -hmm.